How often should you do red light therapy? Should you be doing it every single day, maybe once per week? The answer to this question seems to be ever-changing. Just a year ago, I did a video that was titled How Often to Do Red Light Therapy, and that video was featured on Dr. McCullough's website. But in today's video, I'm actually going to give you my opinion on it, which is slightly different. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you what prompted this video and why I've changed my opinion on how often you should do red light therapy. Then I'm going to tell you exactly what protocol to follow in terms of frequency. At the end of this video, I'm also going to give you a warning about this new protocol because there are some risks with it. So I was recently going through some of Dr. Glenn Jeffrey's work. I'm a huge fan of him. He's one of the researchers out at UCL, and he's one of the pioneers in using red light therapy for eyesight. Now, he was discussing the effect and how long the effect from red light therapy lasts. Um, it is something that we now know is a switch. When you do something, you turn the switch that improves mitochondrial function, and that switch, once you've turned it, will last five days. Now, we've seen this effect pop up in a lot more studies recently. So this study over here showed an improvement in eyesight, and that lasted up to seven days. This study over here was tracking if red light therapy could help with blood glucose, and they saw the improvement started within three hours, and the effects lasted five to seven days. And then this study over here was on boosting stem cells, and they found that the peak happened two to four days later. So my recommendation in my previous video was to do red light therapy every single day. I spoke about the limitations in research, which do exist. Researchers can't have everyone in their study doing red light therapy every single day. But I'm a little bit more cautious to say that you have to be consistent and do it every day. So based on current findings, I would say that the best recommendation now is to do at least two sessions per week, but ideally five. Now, before running away and thinking that two to five sessions is the protocol that you should follow, there's one warning that I have with this protocol, and it's the same opinion that Dr. Glenn Jeffrey has. Five days is a very, very difficult kind of concept to get over. If you're <laughs> saying to an elderly person, um, do this every five days, they lose track. Mm -hmm. They lose track. And was it a Monday when I did that last, or was it a Tuesday? And is that five mm -hmm. days or four days or three days? Uh, we tend to say to people, just do it daily. Build it into your routine. There is absolutely no harm in doing it daily. So since red and urine red light is such a dominant part of the light that we evolved under, it's something that you can be exposed to every single day. Now, the question is whether you're going to get better benefits from seven days a week versus three days a week. That remains to be seen. But in terms of consistency and building in a good habit, I still strongly believe that you should do your sessions every single day. That might not be because you get better effects, but rather you're going to form a better habit. So my approach would now be to aim to do red light therapy every single day. And if I miss a day, I'm not going to feel bad about it but I'm not going to let that compound into a routine where I'm doing once per week. So aim for every single day, but if you do miss a day, don't need to beat yourself up. It's probably not going to affect you because as Dr. Glenn Jeffrey was talking about, once that biological switch is turned, it probably has an effect for five days. If you want to make sure that you aren't making any mistakes with your red light therapy, then I've done a video up here. It's one of my best videos I've done where I covered the 30 lessons about red light therapy that I wish I knew before getting started.